nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us. And arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Hell, fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo Man. Uh, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. And the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain that it will be around given time. Uh, Alright, let's just wrap this up. I think I've got sand in my nanopolymer weave. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? That's the spirit. They haven't given up yet. Huh. Do 
Do you really believe that will be enough? That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. Preparation. I know that wasn't your signature move. Let's do it. Interesting tactic. Some for the They're not quite ready to give up just yet. So, who wants to go first? Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Ah, don't mention it. doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. Hey, Lentless! Another round of warm bodies coming in. I must be the popular one today. I think we pissed them off. This will change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Heroes of Titan? Yeah, in the next 10 seconds, I'm not interested. That was really something. signature move. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Prepare yourself! Still single. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. 
collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. <sighs> Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really should up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Everything according to plan. Nice one, Carol. Couldn't even beat the security guards in my parking garage. Let's give it a go. as they bolster their forces. Do you really think that'll be enough? Davenport was at least a century old. I think these guys got their tactics from the back of a magazine. I wonder what the desertion rate is for Hydra lackeys. That'll work.
I still don't like your chances. How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Battle requires. El Hydra. Who's running the show here? We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've come through so star cruisers that went down fast. <laughs> and power with just a tinge of fascism. <laughs> ah! Impressive. Something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme! Be silent! Him off. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Okay, you did 
The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What's this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. Huh. Suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the hunter earned their rest in the first... Once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply in their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Child of light and darkness! You who tamed the night! Hear the voice of those who beseech the end! The caller! Wait! spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. I am not alone. 
have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret. Cute. Told me to be nice. Relax, like I'm a friend. You don't know it yet. Yes. I saw it with her before. But what would she want with a vampire? Less. The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you'd notice since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter, child of Lilith, as champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondergore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. just raise the dead I definitely helped but no that's the one thing I can't do hunter not sure if you remember me but we met briefly before I'm the witch who called me back from the grave told you or Nico but neither works and this is Robbie Ray is <laughs> oh man never thought I'd be standing next to you Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Eliana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. To say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the young'uns. 
Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I know I'm useless in the morning without a little boost. We could probably have one of these witches or warlocks magic you over a barista. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. How? I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening, but I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. Oh, I don't know. What do you say, Doc? Six, seven hours? Six hours, 43 minutes, eight seconds. Your old room should be just as comfortable as it used to be. But if not, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. Just remember, if it came down to it, your blood would make a mighty fine vintage. Careful now. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older.
tinge of impatience. It is... About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is. Not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Couldn't be worse than the last time. It was just a simple miscommunication. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Not 
great, but not bad. Never seen that before. A moment of preparation. Gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. to have your magic on our side, Doctor. Time to bleed. It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. struggle need to concentrate and ah, and I won't be doing that again was really something. tactic. all coming back to me. It is good to be back in the fight.
are a force to be reckoned with. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. You wanna bet? <laughs> calls itself Venom. Until now... We will feed your own tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. of your mother's children so chatty. Oh, my God. 
We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. belly with my blade, demon. Feeling strong today. Who's next? You will suffer for that. The leader has fallen. No escape from me, demon. Hold up! We don't know what we're dealing with yet! <laughs> Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm Thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. 
Now that things have settled down, you should get some rest. It won't always be this quiet. That was a complete fiasco. And it was... You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. Not bad, Hunter. Not bad at all. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum. Hunter, you look scathed. There's my hunter. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. H horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-bearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing.
my old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again.